treatment arm. Now, Haiti, I, I'm very concerned. The U.S. has called for an urgent movement toward a political transition now in Haiti. Seven days of hell broke loose uh, and gangs are running amok in the nation's capital, and the opposition groups demand that Prime Minister Ari, Ariel Henry resign. Matter of fact, Henry landed in the U.S. territory of Puerto Rico uh, a couple days ago, back on Tuesday, after days of speculation about his whereabouts. He had been in Kenya last week trying to sign an agreement securing the Kenyan-led multinational mission to restore security in his Caribbean nation. So he had went to Kenya to sign an, uh, 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 an agreement that the Kenyans would come and help him secure his nation. But while he was there signing the documents and, and, and getting the, the commitments, all hell broke loose in Haiti. And according to the Miami Herald, Henry had planned to return to Haiti through the United States and in Dominican Republic, but was diverted to Puerto Rico after the Dominican Republic government changed its mind. They don't want a war. They don't want a war with these new gang gangs that are taking over Haiti. So they told him, don't come here. Don't come here. Okay. So U.S. officials called Henry mid-flight and said, look, um, we're telling you, they, they said, him, they said, look, we're trying to persuade him, step aside, resign in favor of a transitional administration for the sake of your nation. The Dominican Republic then rejected informal inquiries from both the United States and Haiti's government this week about a possible indefinite stopover. In other words, let him stay as Dominican Republic as is, uh, let him find exile there for Henry's plane. The Dominican Republic's presidential spokesman said on both occasions, the Dominican Republic government communicated it's impossible. They said the stopover without receiving a defined flight plan. We're not going to let him stop here unless he tells us exactly where he's going from here because he can't stay here. But the United States was telling President Henry, to go to Dominican Republic and stay there, okay? So there you see, and you got to start wondering, was the United States government involved? It's just a question, because I don't have the answer. I'm just asking the question. You have to ask the question. If, you're, if, if anybody's out there doing any journalism at all, they're going to ask this question. Did we have anything to do, the U.S., have anything to do with creating the destabilization dis dis of Haiti? Did we push this guy out? Did we did, I mean, did we push him out? And now we're trying to push him on the Dominican Republic, and we're saying let's let this new faction of gangs create a new government. Now, ask on Wednesday if the U.S. had asked Henry to resign, look what happened. U.S. Ambassador to the U.N., Linda Thomas-Greenfield, said, what we've asked President Henry to do is move over on political process that will lead to an establishment of a presidential transition council that will help lead to some elections. So the answer to that is yes. The United States has told President Henry, you need to step aside, you need to get out of the way, and let us help set up a new election system to help put in a new president. So yes, the Biden administration has decided to take control of Haiti and their election process. Now, the U.S. State Department spokesperson, and they've asked the United States government through the U.N. ambassador, through our U.N. ambassador, we've asked President Henry to step aside. Now, the U.S. State Department spokesperson, Matthew Miller, said the U.S. is not calling on President Henry or we're not pushing him to resign, but we're urging him to expedite the transition to in powered and exclusive governmental structure to prepare for a multinational security mission and eventually for new elections. So what does that sound like? We're not so the US is saying, look, we're not pushing him aside. We're not we're not kicking him out. We're just saying you need to get out for the sake of uh, setting up a new system, a new election, put in a new president. You just need to go ahead and step aside now 
And matter of fact, just hang out in the Dominican Republic. But then the Dominican Republic said, don't come here. Oh, no, we're not your house of refuge. If the U.S. wants you to step out, then go to the U.S. Okay, so hang on a minute. So meanwhile, President Henry's plane is in the air. Are you serious? And he's got to land this baby somewhere. And he does in Puerto Rico. Now, since President Henry's trip to Kenya, the Haitian capital, Port-au-Prince, has been gripped by a wave of highly coordinated gang activity and attacks on the law enforcement, on the state institutions, on the, on the federal uh, buildings, as armed groups have burned down police stations have released thousands of inmates out of two different prisons in what one gang leader called uh, Jimmy Chizira described as an attempt to overthrow President Henry's government. Chizira has taken credit for the attacks and is warned of even more dire consequences if the international community continues to support President Henry. If Ariel Henry doesn't step down, if the international community doesn't support, if they continue to support Ariel Henry, this will lead us to directly into a civil war that will end in a genocide, said the gang leader.